forget conventionalisms, forget what the world thinks of you stepping out of your place. Organize, agitate, educate, must be our war cry. The real milestones are less prepossessing. Failure is impossible. Independence is happiness. Marriage, to women as to men, must be a luxury, not a necessity, an incident of life, not all of it. Whoever controls work and wages, controls morals. For every betrayed woman, there is always the betrayer, man. To think, I have had more than 60 years of hard struggle for a little liberty, and then to die without it seems so cruel. The women who will not be ruled must live without marriage. It is a poor rule that won't work more ways than one. She who succeeds in gaining the mastery of the bicycle will gain the mastery of life. Work and worship are one with me. The worst enemy women have is in the pulpit. The sense of independence and security is very sweet. They threw things at me then but they were not roses. Sooner or later we all discover that the important moments in life are not the great goals achieved. Resistance to tyranny is obedience to God. I think the girl who is able to earn her own living and pay her own way should be as happy as anybody on earth. I stand and rejoice every time I see a woman ride by on a wheel. Every woman should have a purse of her own. The day may be approaching when the whole world will recognize woman as the equal of man. The true republic, men, their rights, and nothing more, women, their rights, and nothing less. Many abolitionists have yet to learn the ABC of woman's rights. Join the union, girls, and together say equal pay for equal work. I do not demand equal pay for any women save those who do equal work in value. We throw to the winds the old dogma that governments can give rights. You will ask and will accept, nothing less nor more because of your sex. The one distinct feature of our association has been the right of the individual opinion for every member. Make them understand you are in their service as workers not as women. The prolonged slavery of woman is the darkest page in human history. No man is good enough to govern any woman without her consent. Women, we might as well be dogs baying the moon as petitioners without the right to vote. Trust me that as I ignore all law to help the slave, so will I ignore it all to protect an enslaved woman. But wherever the roots may be traced, the results at this hour are equally disastrous to a woman. We have been beset at every step, with those held by the majority of mankind. I pray every single moment of my life, not on my knees but with my work. Friends please like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe our channel, thank you for watching.